In this video, I will show you how you can make your own 8051 minimum system or a development board. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before we dive into building our own system, let's first understand what is 8051. So 8051 is 40 pin 8 bit microcontroller developed by Intel in 1980s. Some of its features are 4 KB of ROM, 128 bytes of RAM, 8 bit data bus, 16 bit address bus, 16 bit timers and 5 interrupts and most importantly 4 IO ports, each of 8 bit, so a total of 32 IO pins. Now I won't dive into more details but if you want to learn more about 8051 microcontroller, let me know in the comment section. I will make a dedicated video on that. Coming back to the topic, how can we make a minimum system or a development board? First off, we need a 8051 IC and mainly there are two of them, 89C51 and 89C52. But they are pretty old and to program them you need a parallel programmer which are expensive. So the newer ones are 89S51 and 89S52. They are serial programming enabled which means they offer MOSI, MISO and SCK pins for the programming which can be programmed using any AVR programmer which are pretty cheap and we can even use an Arduino to program it which is a topic for another video so subscribe for that. Now for building the minimum system we basically need 3 different blocks and here is the schematic. Number 1 is the power section. Here I am using LM7805 voltage regulator along with complementary capacitors to reduce the noise in the system. I also have added the LED for power indication and diode for reverse polarity protection. Second one is the oscillator section. Here we need 11.059 MHz crystal along with 33 picofarad capacitor in this configuration. Now the two of pins of crystal will connect to the 8051's XTAL1 and XTAL2 pin. This will provide the clock for our microcontroller. Lastly, we have reset section. Here we use combination of a capacitor, resistor and a switch. Here resistor acts as a pull down resistor and whenever switch is pressed, it gives 5V at this joint, which connects to the reset pin of our microcontroller, thus resetting it. One more optional thing you can add is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor network, which acts as a pull up network. Once I had the schematic ready, I converted it to PCB and ordered mine from glcpcb.com. And to the no surprise, they are also the sponsor of this video. You can order your PCBs only for $2 from their website with any color solder mask, which is absolutely amazing. Not only that, they offer 4 and 6 layer PCB along with option for SMD stencil at insanely low prices. And production time for 2 layer PCB is only 24 hours. Check them out, link is in the video description. Once I had the PCB, I soldered all the components starting with 40 pin IC base. You can even use a 40 pin zip socket but it's up to you. Once soldering was complete, this 8051 minimum system was also complete. Now just insert your IC and you are ready to go. Now for programming you can use this serial pins which I have added. But that's the topic for another video so stay tuned for that. Until then, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.